Jennifer Garner is a famous American actress and a well-known film producer. She has been able to achieve great success throughout her life. The video today will look at how Jennifer Garner spends her million dollars. Stay tuned to find out more. Jennifer Garner has an estimated net worth of $80 million. Let us look at how she became so rich. Number 1. Early Life Jennifer Garner was born on 17 April 1972 in Houston, Texas. As a child, she was always academically smart. Garner grew up in a conservative Christian household. She first enrolled at Denison University in Granville, Ohio as a chemistry major, but she later shifted to doing a major in theater. She graduated with a degree in fine arts and theater in 1994. She later moved to New York City to pursue her acting career. Number 2. Beginning of her acting career After graduating from her university, Garner moved to New York City, where she launched her acting career. She initially worked as an understudy for the Roundabout Theatre Company in New York. During the same time, she made an appearance as a side actress in a miniseries known as Zoya. This was her first appearance on camera. This led to her getting small roles in short films, television series, and television movies. Her first lead role was in the film named Rosie Hill. Eventually, she started gaining popularity because of her acting and became a popular superstar. Number 3. Launching of her acting career Jennifer Garner started to become famous and popular as soon as she transitioned into acting in films. Her first big hit was the film named Catch Me If You Can. The director of the film contacted her after he saw her in one of the television films. Soon after, she started playing lead roles in many films. One of her popular films is 13 Going on 30, where she made a fortune out of it. After being debuted in several films, Garner took a break from her acting career. During her break, she got married to Ben Affleck, soon after she gave birth to her first child. After taking a break, she got back to acting. However, she started to work on getting back to her roots of acting and started to work in a theater. Her first debut after her break was as a supporting role in the film Juno and the Kingdom. After practicing in theaters for a while, she started to get many roles. She played a part in many commercials and other romantic films. A year after she took her big break, she was featured in a famous movie titled Valentine's Day, after which she had many supporting roles. Through her acting career, she was able to earn millions of dollars. Number 4. Jennifer Garner's Ventures we all know that Jennifer Garner is a famous American actress. However, she even has other ventures from where she earned her money from. One of the first ventures that she was a part of was that she was an ambassador of a foundation named Save the Child. She has been one of the trustees since the year 2014. Apart from this, she was a spokesperson for the fashion brand Max Mara since the year 2013. After getting the Air Miles credit card, she was assigned the speaker for the Capital One Venture Air Miles. The company, Once Upon a Farm with John Foraker, was founded by Jennifer Garner in the year 2018, which is an organic, fresh baby food company and is currently the chief brand officer. This company offers its products to families who are eligible for the special supplemental nutrition program for women, infants, and children. Number 5. Jennifer Garner Spending Her Millions According to sources, Jennifer Garner has an approximate net value of around $80 million. She has made most of her money through her acting career. However, she has six other ventures. She earned around $4,000 to $5,000 per episode for the full 22-episode season, which turned out to be around $1 million. Garner's peak salary was around $3.3 million at an average of around $150,000 per episode. Jennifer Garner does not earn a salary per commercial for a brand like Capital One, but signs a long-term contract for several commercials per year. Garner is operating under a $15 to $20 million deal a year to work with Mercedes. Garner is also a strong advocate for childhood education. She serves as a trustee on the board for Save the Children, which promotes early education for children and national literacy. She frequently assists families that get assistance with early childhood education. 
Jennifer Garner states that she is not a part of political campaigns, but has donated to various Democratic politicians like Wendy Davis. Jennifer Garner is also a supporter of laws that support children celebrities from paparazzi. Apart from all of the time, Jennifer Garner has spent around $17 million on purchasing a new house. She continued to lead this lavish life for quite some time. As we come to the end of the video, we can see that Jennifer Garner does not spend her money recklessly. She used the money that she earned on children and people who needed it. She even bought another mansion for $19 million where she currently lives. That is all for today. Hope you enjoyed seeing this video.